Hey guys, this is Sura Sony and you are watching Camstar. So friends, once again, welcome back on Camstar. So friends, in this session, I am going to discuss with you the method of purification of solids. All right. So in this session, we will see method of purification of solid and this method is crystallization. So basically, we will see what is crystallization on which principle crystallization works what what is the process of method of crystallization what are their drawbacks and what are their advantages so let's start today's session so as you can see on the screen it is written here methods of purification of solids and the method of purification of solid is crystallization yes so in this session we will see crystallization method for purification of solid so let's see first what is crystallization all right so crystallization is a process of obtaining a solid in a pure and crystalline form from its solution is known as crystallization so basically what happens in crystallization we uh, we just take a solid which we need to purify all right so we decide the suitable solvent for that and what we do we dissolve the solid in that suitable solvent all right and what we do is we we, ju we just heat that and uh, we heat that so that every crystal of solid gets properly dissolved in the solvent after that we filter it and we allow it to cool so that it forms a crystal pure solid crystal so this method is called as method of purification of solid because uh, once the solution will get uh, cool it will form a crystals of pure solid so that is the reason why this method is called as a method uh, crystallization all right so uh, so at what principle this method of crystallization works let's see so generally the substance is more soluble in given solvent at temperature at higher temperature than at lower temperature all right so as i said in crystallization method what we do we generally dissolve our solid into the suitable solvent all right so if we use a solvent if we use a solvent at normal room temperature for dissolving our solid so it will take a lots of time and it will not get properly dissolved in the solvent all right so for that uh, what we do we generally heat the solvent along with our solid so that uh, our solids which we are going to purify is get dissolved quickly all right as compared to the room temperature all right so this is a principle on which the crystallization method works all right so if we are going to crystallize or we are going to purify any solid impure substance with the help of crystallization method what we need to do is we need to dissolve our solid in a suitable solvent at higher temperature all right so let's move to the next slide so uh, now we are going to see the procedure how the crystallization uh, method works all right so uh, for procedure first point is the impure compound is dissolved in a solvent in which it is sparingly soluble at room temperature but appreciably soluble at higher temperature so what here we do is we generally take our impure solid compound and we dissolve it in our suitable solvent all right so when we dissolve it in suitable solvent at room temperature what will happen it will sparingly get so uh, dissolve in the solvent but what but what happens when we increase the temperature it will get appreciably dissolved it will get quickly dissolve in the solvent so as you can see here on the screen in the first conical flask there is a impure solid all right so in second conical flask what happens we add our suitable solvent all right so here uh, black 
solid compound represents the desired compound which we are trying to purify all right and that white solid represents the impurities present in that solid compound so what happens we add the solvent and we dissolve our solvent in the uh, dissolve our uh, solid compound in that solvent and uh, if it will get dissolved at room temperature then it's well and good and if it is not so we what we can do we can just heat it up so that it will get dissolved properly all right so after that what we do we just filter our uh, filter our uh, solutions through funnel by using the filter paper and we allow the filtrate to settle down and cooled off so that after that our crystals in pure form gets formed into the conical flask all right so let's see the next point so let's move to the next slide so ne on next slide next point is the solution is concentrated by heating till its saturation point is reached so as i said what we need to do is the the impure solid which we are trying to purify is we need to dissolve in suitable solvent at normal room temperature when it will not get dissolved at room temperature we need to dissolve it at higher temperature all right so uh, once we will start heating our solution what will happen uh, the time uh, the once we will start heating at suitable temperature what will happen our solid compound will get properly dissolved in the solvent all right so uh, you will not be able to see any solid particle in the solvent so that particular point is called as a saturation point all right so the saturated solution is filtered in hot condition through a hot water funnel to remove insoluble impurities if it so what happens if we are trying to remove uh, insoluble impurities so what we do we will uh, filter our hot solution through funnel by using filter paper so so uh, the liquid which we will collect in the funnel that particular liquid will be called as filtrate and the solid which will get collected in the on the filter paper in funnel that will be impurities present in that in that solid compound all right so next point is slow and uniform cooling of the filtrate gives the fine crystal of the substance so once we will filter our hot solution what we need to do is we just have to keep our filtrate for cooling so once it will get cool what happen the pure compound present in solution will get will get will get formed crystals pure crystals all right so the next point is the crystals are filtered off washed with the same solvent to remove adhered impurities if any and then dried so what in next step we need to do is we just have to again washed our crystal formed we just need to we just need to add some solvent in the crystals formed so that we can again uh again uh so that we can remove if any impurities are still sticked on the crystals all right so the next point is the filtrate left behind the after crystallization is known as mother liquor and it contains impurities and a small quantity of compound all right so after washing we we again need to uh give time to a uh, cool our filtrate so that now this time the crystal which will form that will be perfectly pure crystal solid all right and if in any if in any condition some amount of li liquid will gets remains left over with the crystals then that particular liquid will be called as mother liquor all right so in that mother liquor what will what will be there there will be our impurities that is the reason why that uh, particular portion of the filtrate is not get converted into the 
crystalline form all right so let's move to the next slide so the next point is the purity of crystals can be ascertained by determining its melting point now we have completed our procedures for uh, purifying the solid compound and we have got the pure crystals we are saying here we have got the pure crystals all right but for determining how much how much purity is uh, how much pure is that particular crystals we need to do melting point test all right so every compound has one particular melting point if we find out the melting point of that crystalline pure compound if that particular melting point will get matched with the standard operating procedures melting point then at that time we can see we can say that the we have done purification method 99% 88% or whatever 100% uh, pure 100% perfect all right so let's move to the next slide so here what uh, what is here is in some cases the impurities impart color to the solution in some condition in some in some cases what happens uh, when we filter uh, when we filter our solution through the filter paper by using the funnel what happens the filtrate which we uh, collect in our funnel that should be always a colorless all right but in some condition what happens that uh, that filtrate is not a colorless it it gets uh, uh, it gets some color like blue red pink or any other, any colors depending on their depending on your compounds of purification all right in so what we need to do in such situation is uh, and what this happens why you are not getting the colorless filtrate in your funnel the reason behind that is we are going to see now all right so in such situation a small quantity of activated charcoal is added to the added to the solution and heated so if in any case you are getting such situation what you need to do is when you are dissolving your solid compound into the solvent uh, you have to add some uh, black charcoal in that particular uh, in that uh, solution so that what will happen the impurities present will get uh, absorbed by the charcoal all right so the solution is filtered in the hot condition so if you are filtering your solution and you are getting colorful filtrate then what you need to do, do is you have to filter whole your solution and then you have to add some charcoal in your filtered solution and then you have to again refilter it so that you after after that you will get the perfect colorless filtrate all right so the colored impurities are removed by adsorption on charcoal so what happens if you add charcoal in that filtrate solution the uh, impurities the colorful impurities which will uh, which are present in that fil uh, filtrate will get absorbed on the charcoal and you now and now this time you will get the color less filtrate all right so this is the whole method of crystallization of solid so friends i hope you have understood this whole sessions and the basic concept of crystallizations which i have told in this particular sessions so if you like this video please do subscribe my channel chemstar and share with your friends so that knowledge will be flowing like a liquid so thanks for watching keep watching keep learning and one more thing you can comment your doubt in comment box and you can also comment me whether this video was useful or or not and if you have any doubt which you are not able to resolve you can directly mail me at my email id which is suraj soni 421 201 at the rate gmail.com so thanks again for watching this video till end thanks a lot